the term humanity seems so abstract. For, but for me, I think subjectively, uh, it means each one of us trying to become more fully human. And what I mean by that is that we are all interconnected as human beings, very esoteric and not easy to touch in terms of our own everyday lives. Mm -hmm. And my feeling is that humanity runs through us every single moment, uh, that we are constantly seeking how to be connected to each other, how we as human beings attempt to expand who we are and to, and to connect with those who we don't know. Writing poetry helped me to find a voice, to find a way to each day, to each day be able to talk to the page so that I wouldn't feel so alone. I find that the most gratifying thing for me is to, to help people find voice, whether it's through poetry, whether it's through visual arts, whether it's through photography, you know, to tell their story. And it's so amazing how many connections we as human beings make with each other, and particularly women, women who've been told that, you know, it. Silence is golden, and that it's much, much better not to pay attention, not to put um, cause attention to yourself um, by being quiet, not disagreeing, not uh, exposing your power, not grasping your power, not being a, a, a presence at the table. And I'm saying to all women who I work with, and I hope to many other women, that you must be a presence, you must make your voice known. I think humanities in that sense, because my definition of humanity is very, very broad, um, is about building a bridge. It's about building bridges. It's about creating light. It's about walking with each other through darkness to at least show some reflection of our own light for others. And it's about not build, it's about breaking down walls and bridging those kinds of divisions that make us fearful of each other. And what we have to do is make sure that we say, I see you, I hear you, I respect you, I believe that you as a human being deserve as much dignity, as much love and compassion as I do, as you do.